Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is extend the work that we've been doing on probability tree diagrams. I'm going to be talking about mutually exclusive events, how we work out probabilities of combining events. And we'll also be looking at the and rule and the or rule for probability. And the best way I can demonstrate this is through this example in which we've got a box. It contains three red sweets and four blue sweets. A sweet is taken from the box, its color noted and then replaced. And then we take another sweet and its color is noted. And we've got to draw a probability tree diagram. Then we've got to go on to find the probability of getting two red sweets, then two sweets the same color, and at least one red sweet. Now I'm assuming that you are familiar with drawing tree diagrams and writing the probabilities on. If not, do go back and check my earlier video. In fact, this question was one that we went through. And if you did watch that video, you'd know that we've got this kind of tree diagram where we've got the two trials, First trial is the first color and the second trial is the second color. And on the first trial, there were two outcomes. You could either get a red sweet or a blue sweet, and those probabilities were three sevenths and four sevenths respectively. Then there were a further two outcomes that you could get off of each of these outcomes. And similarly, we got these probabilities for red sweets and blue sweets. So as I say, I'm assuming that you're already familiar with this. So we now move on and we're going to look at combining probabilities. And in this first example, we're asked to find the probability of getting two red sweets. In other words, a red sweet and another red sweet. And what we would tend to write is something like this, the probability P for that then, of two red sweets. I'm going to write 2R there. And so the probability of getting the first red sweet, well, that's equal to 3 sevenths. So we've got 3 sevenths. And then we go on to get another red sweet. And that probability is 3 sevenths of the previous probability. So we would multiply that 3 sevenths with this probability, 3 sevenths. And this is often referred to as the AND rule. The AND rule we would always multiply. Probability of two red sweets is one red sweet and another red sweet. So I'm just going to show that in blue, the AND rule. We would multiply the probabilities. And so 3 sevenths times 3 sevenths is going to be 9 forty ninths. The probability then of two red sweets. And similarly, we could go on and work out the probability of two blue sweets. That would be to just do 4 sevenths times 4 sevenths. And it would equal 16 forty ninths. Now, if we wanted the probability of taking a red sweet first and then a blue sweet, it would be this route through the tree diagram. And my intro would be something like this. The probability of red sweet, and then I'll put a comma here, followed by a blue sweet. It's what we often call an ordered pair. It's red first and then the blue. And if you work this out, then you're going to have 3 sevenths times 4 sevenths, a total of 12 forty ninths. Similarly, if we're asked to work out the probability of a blue sweet and then a red, then I would write the probability of blue comma R, and that would be 4 sevenths times 3 sevenths, the AND rule again, and it equals 12 forty ninths. And so when it comes to working out the probability of two red sweets, we've already done that then. It is equal to 3 sevenths times 3 sevenths, which equals 9 over 49. OK, it was that answer there. Now we're going to take this further now. We're going to look at part two here, where we've got to work out the probability of two sweets that are the same colour. 
And so if we write that intro in, we've got the probability of the same color. And how can we get that? Well, it's going to be equal to getting two reds. So we'll put the probability of two reds. Or let's just put the or up here. Or you could get two blues. So we'll have the probability of two blues. We then have the probability that sweets the same color. Now when you have an or situation, we always add our probabilities. We find the total of them. And we call these events mutually exclusive events. They cannot happen at the same time. And I've got a note on this here where two or more events are said to be mutually exclusive if they cannot happen at the same time. That is here, we had this event here getting two reds. And then we had this event here, two blues. They can't happen at the same time. You can either just get the two reds or you can get the two blues. So when one event or the other happens, we add the probabilities of the events. And this is the OR rule. So working this out, all we need to do is add the probabilities together of 9 49 for the probability of two reds and the probability of two blues, 16 49 So if you do that, you end up with a total of 25 49 Now for part three, we've got to work out the probability of at least one red sweet. So if we put that down, the intro here, the probability of at least one red sweet, how can we do that? Well, we can have two red sweets, that will be at least one red sweet. And we can have the probability of getting a red followed by a blue. Or we could have the probability of blue followed by a red. So it would be basically adding up these three probabilities here. 9 49 12 49 and 12 49 So if you showed that working, it's going to look something like this, where we've got the probabilities of those three events. Remember, they're mutually exclusive. They can't happen at the same time. So we would add them. And if you work that out, you end up with a total of 33 over 49. Now, there is a quicker method, one that I would encourage you to do. This quicker method is where we should realize that all the events that can happen, that will be the sum of these probabilities down here, it totals one. So if you were to add them up, you get a total of 49 49ths, which comes to one whole one. And we can pick up on this because if we worked out the probability of at least one red by adding these three probabilities up here, why don't we do the reverse, if you like, and say, well, it's one minus the probability of not getting at least one red. In other words, one minus getting two blues. So if you put that in, you'll end up with one minus the probability of two blues, and that'll be one minus the 16 49ths. And if you work that out, you end up with, again, 33 49ths. And so I hope that gives you some idea of how we can combine probabilities on a tree diagram, mutually exclusive events, events that cannot happen at the same time. We use the OR rule, which is to add those probabilities together. And I've also introduced you to the AND rule, where as we come along the branches here, where you have the probability of one thing and another, we would multiply. OK, so thanks for listening. And as usual, hopefully I'll have your company again if you need any other support. Remember, I've got my free website where you can see all these tutorials and any support you care to give, whether this is recommending it to friends or making a donation is always appreciated.